I think Switzerland is naturally very well positioned, all the indices and on the IMD, on the latest IMD competitive in index, I think we see what we have to do. The biggest advantage for Switzerland is that it's really relatively compact, so small, and we can really accelerate things if we start to work all together and then create these kind of new solutions we can then go international with. Right. So it's a lab. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big lab. It's a one it's smart a city. Yes. Switzerland is one smart city and can do great right. internally with all the brands we have here and, and go internationally even for smaller companies very quickly. One thing one should observe is that from the educational perspective but also a fundamental perspective, uh, Switzerland is very well set up has several excellent worldwide leading uh, universities in the, in the area of, of all the necessary technologies with lots of connections. Especially Zurich also has a very rich um, environment in terms of startup companies, uh, in terms of Google, Microsoft, uh, Facebook and all these companies around Zurich and doing research uh, and development. On the other hand, um, in terms of companies, I think they had a slow start, but if I observe things correctly, mm -hmm. uh, due to the well and, and, and great economic situation currently, yeah. they're investing a lot in, in what we call digital transformation. I mean, at the moment, we are leading edge when it comes to education. Yeah. Unfortunately, mostly Anglo-Saxon companies have realized this and that hiring the talents directly from ETH and, <laughs> and, and, and other great universities. So there is a big, big gap uh, then when it comes to having um, investors and the corporate world really playing on a global level. Uh, so, but um, initiatives like Digital Switzerland and others uh, are working on that framework. Uh, it's it's uh, really about a, a lot of elements that need to work together, to come together, that, uh, that we can play first on a European level but then uh, um, eventually also on a, on a global level in different fields than uh, Silicon Valley or other ecosystems in the digital world. So I think we have to build on our strengths. And, yeah. and so there are a lot of verticals or industries where Switzerland is very strong. Uh, let's talk about the food industry. Let's talk about uh, the health industry. Let's talk about uh, fintech. Um, I think these are only three examples where there is a good heritage and I think we need to build on these, on these strengths. So where do you see the biggest opportunities um, within Swisscom focusing on the digitalization? I think we have uh, a lot of great opportunities about the digitization. I think uh, to make our processes uh, more lean, efficient, simplicity, I think it's a really really important topic for Swisscom to be better, to be faster for our customer. I think there is a great potential and digitization is a tool to get there. I saw a ranking uh, a few few days yes. ago. I think we, we do not bad, but uh, there is a, a, a huge potential to improve, of course. So I think the, um, there is a lot of action going on. Um, I think uh, Digital Switzerland is one of the players who, who move on and um, they want to to, to, to set the agenda in, at the politics, uh, in the federal uh, politics. It's a lot of legalization, yeah. it's, it's, it's infrastructure, scientific backgrounds. I think we have a, a very good um, ecosystem uh, when we talk about EPFL or ETH. I think we, when we bring together the, the corporates with the universities and the startups, I think then we can a huge profit out of things. Right.